Welcome back. <laughs> so after the after the video yesterday, um, Jolene had some time with her family for a minute. Uh, I was left alone, obviously, and uh, I had to do some more to the car. And right now, as you look at it, this is what I've done. I'd done this to the car yesterday. Uh, like I said, Jolene had to upload the video, do all that sort of stuff, and be with her family. And uh, what I did is I took it upon myself, I took it upon myself, like I usually do, I just took it upon myself, I laid the wind down, window down where I felt that the window was in the car was laid down, that's what I did, I laid it down to, considering what it looked like, uh, the window was very drastic in this, the lay down on it, and I wanted to do the exact same thing on the car. <laughs> When, when I got done, I was, you know, wow, I got it chopped, I got it laid down, I got the window where I wanted it. Jolene come out and she goes, holy, what happened to the car? <laughs> so I've got, what's got going on here is, um, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of things that went on in my brain. Um, I went back to the point where I maybe should have put the window down first and then, and then chopped the back of the roof. But then again, I'm happy with the size of the back of the roof and, and that so on and so forth. But anyways, as I got it together, this is what I come up with to have it chopped. I got the window laid down. I think I got the window laid down basically where I wanted it. But what has happened here is, is it's, it's got quite an angle here, and it does not have that on the car from the back post. It does not have that. It does not go boom, down like that so hard. And uh, what I was thinking and what I, you know, Jolene wasn't thinking, I guess, is that we still have this piece right here. You know what I mean? This piece right here has to be down here. Um, on this one, on the, on the toy or on the car, it does not have a window frame. It has a, a small window frame made out of maybe small square tubing or stainless or whatever. And as I have this piece yet to go in, I was able to pluck this piece on here. And then when I got down to this end, I had it here to match up with this line and then I put it all the way up on this end so we took another two inches out of that rake and I can show you exactly what I did I have not got the front uh, window treatment down yet post down yet I'm going to do that we're going to do that on the video and we're probably going to put this piece in but at the present moment that's what it looked like when Jolene came up to you wow like it the kind of it didn't look quite right it was chopped quite heavy I want the window, the main thing on this car is I want that window to lay down like that. Uh, me and Jolene seen a real one at Peter Mullins Museum, and I can remember the window was so big. And that was some of the issue where I had where the window was not long enough to get up to here. I had more metal on it, but the metal turned down, if you can remember. It turned down, so it was no good to me. This was the full length. Like I said last night, I cut it last night on the full length, what I could get. If, if, if I had a longer window, I could come up here and then run it to the roof. Did not have that. I'm also up here a little bit, an inch on either side, so I am stretching it some just to get that. I'm gonna pull it to the other side and show you. Also, we have this going on. There's a drip rail molding going on. Drip rail molding going on. This car does not have a drip rail molding. Does not have a drip rail molding, and, and uh, I've no I noticed that after I got going. But you really have to take notice of everything when you're building something. Um, I was gonna put a, put a drip rail molding on it. Um, didn't need a drip rail molding because it does not have one. So I end up having to cut it off. So this is what I've done on this side. I tried to butt it all in, butt that piece in. Um, so what I have done is I've took the top of the door. And, and mind yourself, I did this all while Joey was in the house. <laughs> this is the top of the door. I cut the top of the door off. And then I placed it up here. So this is not this is part of the car. The door does not have its top yet. This post is coming out. I'm gonna cut that off. This post is coming out. We're gonna make our own post like the toy has, or like the car has. I'm gonna have to get this connected here somehow. But I have taken a well, well taken two inches out of that rake that I have on the other side, and it kind of gave me a nice flow going on there that I'm happy with. I'm happy with it, you know what I mean? That's all I mean. I can only work with what I have. 
I could I can start making things and make a new window and all that sort of stuff to get it up higher. But um, I'm using what I have. I said I seen a Bugatti in that and this Chevy, and and this is what I'm seeing and this is what I'm using. So I'm 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 happy with the rake going on. The back door. Where's that part at? Uh, there's another piece here. Up, 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 up. See, I got, I got the back doors too. The top of the back doors are here. I also have the door that have, I have this piece here that goes in, used to go in there. Uh, we're not putting that in there. We're having, this is all going to be like a hard top going on thing. I'm just going to have squared like a three quarter inch top of the door, then a, po a post here. And, and this is all going to be like a hard top. So when this, when this post comes out, I'm going to use pieces like this to connect this body line together. So I will cut the post off, cut the post off, and then I will take this stuff and I will finish all this stuff off to continue the lines to make it look like it goes all the way around the way it should. And that's what I'll use them for in the tops of the doors in the back. So basically what I'm saying is, is I've got it basically where I want it. Um, we're going to sheathe the roof in with metal, I'm pretty sure. We're not going to put no nothing in the top of that, I don't think. Um, that's what we're going to do there. So that's basically, if we take a look from behind, if we take a look from behind, I really want you to get a good visual on it. If you take a look from behind on the car, I feel, I feel like the window is a nice window. I feel like, like that's a nice window, cons considering what we're going for. This piece on top of the door, we couldn't have the drip roll moldings anyway, so it was good to put this piece on because it finished it off, give it a nice round feeling. Also, it gives it a nice line all the way around. Once this is gone, that's going to be gone. And I feel that's okay. So th on the other side, there's a drip roll molding there. I had to cut that off, dolly that together with a hammer and dolly. Just put a dolly in behind it. And I dollied it all off, and then I walled it back up. This is the top of the door. I weld it to the roof sail panel. Um, let's, let's get the window connected. That's what I got going on here. I'm an inch up on this because I tried to, I had, I, got it, I had it raked on the side. I had it down there before. So you can imagine the rake I had on when Jolene first came up. Uh, I had it down another inch and, and I didn't have this in there. So it really looked like it was cut really hard, which it was. But if it's not, if it's not cut, to me, if it's not cut that way, so you can really tell that something has gone on there, you would really not notice the car. As I got cutting it, I kept, you know, as a, on the cut on this side, on, the, on this side over here, as I got cutting it, I thought of Gene Winfield's race car, the thing. I think it's a thing. Just let me know if I hit over there, will you, baby? So what I'm going to do right now is just try to clean that off and I'm going to make a piece out of a plate. I see on the toy, on the toy that this post comes ahead, the cow on the toy, like we've only got this much, and then this was the hood. This is where, this, this is where it gets tricky in my brain. What do you do? You know, where do you go from here? Um, how far do you go? With it? How, far, how far do I take it to make it look like what I'm going on over there? But on that car, this is all cow. The hood is from here up. From, on this car, this is the cow part. This is all cow, but this is all hiding underneath the hood. Um, I, I'd like to have this as part as like smooth like the door, all of it. Then I could I could make a nice thing come off the the window treatment. I could come up and widow peek it, widow peek it in the middle. What I mean by a widow's peak is uh, you know, like say your hair comes down to a point. I guess that's called a widow's peak. And I would peek that one, peek that one, and peek that one. But right at the present moment. I'm just going to, I'm going to zip this line off, or this little body line here. I know I got a body line there. I've been touching that with the baby. said, so will you stop hitting that car with the grinder? You're sure supposed to keep the Pantina. But I'm not thinking of the Pantina when I'm grinding and fixing it. I apologize, but I, I wasn't. I'm going to cut this off so I can lay a piece on there flat. If I need a body line on there, I know what to do. A piece of round rod or something. And you can see how a buffing wheel, you just touch that on a buffing wheel, how I smooth that body line off, you can see that. But anyways, I'm just gonna cut that clean. I'm gonna to try to get that steady, get that one steady. And then we'll see if we can put in this window treatment here to, to fix the rake. So what was going on is going from here and we're going to there. And that's gonna fix that rake a little bit and make us a little more happier. Right, baby? I had her, had her rake the other day there, didn't I? Huh? Yeah, yeah. 
Alrighty, we cleaned up a little bit, so it's going to take me a second. And it's Sunday and all, so. It's Sunday and all. I want to thank everybody for the comments. We were way over 500. We're up around 900 or something like that. There's going to be another hat given away. Hey, hey, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. I want, I want to tell everybody that's on the YouTube page that we're doing good. We're doing good. And uh, there's nothing wrong with doing good. If you're not doing good, what are you doing? You can ask yourself that. My glasses. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth that post off there. This thing is rocking and rolling. We tacked it. I got Jolene to tack it last night for me. Just put a piece of metal in there and tacked it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the windows yet. I'm not sure what just what I'm doing yet because I just honestly don't know what what I want to do with the window. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw something on there and place something on there that I think I would like, and then we'll figure it out after. Just look, but I just want to get this window tied down. I, I got in a hurry. Um, I panicked. I did. <laughs> I panicked when I when she came up and said, you chopped it too hard, <laughs> you know. I panicked, put the other piece on, tried to show her that, you know, show what's going on here, that I was going to, you know, put this piece on and, and gain two inches down there, and I did not connect it down. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did, and it, and it worked out. It's just that I should have had the post connected and had that post connected, and then I really could have got it squared up. But we're, we're looking good, and while I'm doing, this is all I'm doing on this car is looking through the front window and looking to the back window and if it looks straight to me it probably should look straight to you you know that's basically what I'm saying um, and that's all I'm saying like other than that it's fine if uh, if you're if you're out an eighth or a sixteenth or a quarter and it looks good does not matter does it does not matter not to me it doesn't especially if it looks good I would never complain a bit. I'm not the kind of guy that goes around looking for the bad stuff in a car anyways. I'm always looking for the good stuff. The bad stuff, I want, uh, that's, that's for me. I can fix it because I'm bad chance, right? Right? I'm just going to smooth this up, clean this up a little bit, and just make it flatter, that's all. Watch yourself. Taking that line out of it. That way there, my, the metal that I put on it will lay flush. The piece that I make. So the old plasma cutter will come in. So I'm going to leave that there for a second. Just clean it off. Now I'll pick up a piece of, piece of my trusty Bristol board from my friend that sent it to me. My friend that sent me the Bristol board. Thank you very much. This body line can be made with anything. Round rod, made with anything. I'm going to take that to that point. I'm going to check it on the other side and see what it says. The other side says the same thing. Hickory dickory dock. You finish it. I'm just going to come down here. I sort of want to do the both, same on both. I'm just trying to get it the paper. See, I got a distance here that's longer than there. What I want to do is I'm just trying to make it go straight and make the body line. So if I cut it, 
you know, if I cut this this way, left that marker open last night, cut a little bit off that edge and tilt it back and I get a straight line. Sirens. We got sirens. I thought Fina was out there crying, but there used to be a guy down the road. We used to climb a fire truck. Every time he cried, <laughs> sound like a fire truck. <laughs> he wasn't a wrestler. He was born to be a fireman. So basically what I want to do, I just straighten that line out a little bit. I get my good marker and make it look shape any way I want to. I'm going to cut it out of eighth plate. I'm going to put this front post on here with eighth plate. I think it matters. I'm going to see what happens. Go underneath the line. Just, you know, there's so many ways to skin this cat here. Um, I'm just trying to do it. I'm just trying to make something that looks half decent, I guess. I'll go up a little bit. Go in there. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to check it out. See, I could draw it like, you know, have a nice big swoopy one out here that went all the way back. And that's what I was thinking about where the cow is missing there. I don't know whether to fill that in or what to do there. I'm not sure yet. And that's just all in preference, really. It's all in preference. But I do like the longer one. You like the longer? I like the longer one than the shorter one. Why don't, why don't, why, why, why don't I do a longer one? And then I can, I can always cut it off after. That's what I'm going to do. She's using my words on me, boys. She's using my words on me. What? <laughs> well, I just told them they're using my, she's using my. She said I could relief cut it, and uh, that's what I could do. A pair of scissors, where did we put the scissors back, did we? Just had them, didn't I? Just had them, didn't I? So we're just going to make a few, a different pattern, I guess. I changed my mind right on the, right on the fly. Yeah, we had her weed whack there, baby, when we first moved in, yeah. We had her weed whack. What did you do, she said. I was only in the house five minutes. <laughs> I had, I had uh, uh, round rod on for, what are you doing, she says. So, there's our piece. I'm just going to weld that on there like so. It's because I could finish that down there if I want to put metal in here. But if I don't have it, can't weld it on. But it would be a good something good to hold the window is what I'm trying to say. If I can put that on there hold the window in place and then I can go for that as long as I can fill this in at any time that's just a piece of metal and a pattern just whatever we're up here a little bit and I don't mind that I, we can take our metal and come down into here we can go all the way around with it we, I'm not sure what's going on here yet don't know if we're using that probably not might just run over top of it or put a piece of metal and we might widow, widow peak the center of it and have something going on like this come around like this and then go around to the other side the car has that on the paint job and you'll notice on a lot or you'll notice on a lot of cars you can paint that on your car and it'll look that way even though it's not that way um, when we were in San Francisco there was a car there that had a pattern painted on the side of the car you thought it was the door of the car but no it was part of the cowl and part of the rear fender and the door was in, in amongst the painting on the side of the car. It was, it was quite neat how they did it. And uh, I learned that from them. You can paint it on to make it look that way if you want.
Not working very fast today, am I? Huh? I have to go easy on that pantina, she said. Go easy on that stuff. I like to see this side come down just a just a smidge and I always pull that square tubing up tack that on here um, I made a pattern I hope that I can fit that on that with that now probably not damn it uh, that's what I was thinking about. Got messed up, didn't I, sweetheart? I got messed up. Do I have any? Just one second. If I don't have that, I'll have, I got a plan. I'll weld a, I'll weld a piece together and do it. I'll weld a piece together and do it. Well, I guess I'm gonna weld a piece, of, piece together. That's what I'm gonna do. That works, doesn't it? Just. I got Fina going off the head. I have no idea. Could be just about anybody. What I'm going to do is, right quick, is I'm going to weld two of those together. I could just put a, like a small piece on to hold it, you know what I mean? But we'll put a pattern on it. Uh, the fuck is that grinder at? We cleaned up, so that's when you can't find stuff. The zip cut grinder. No, that's not a zip cut grinder. Can... Ah! Here we go. Lose my head standing on my piece. So I need two pieces that long. Going on. Going on. You got all kinds of work going on? Yeah. Jesus. Working right now. <laughs> That's all right. What do, you, what do you need? You want to go get in your truck? Yeah. See, so like, get the things started, maybe. Yeah, right up there. Put the battery up and a bunch of sheets. Just go around the back, yeah. and you're more than welcome. Have at her. Okay, cool. Okay, Stacy. Yeah. We'll be talking at you. I'll see if I can get this done by the time you get your truck started. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what I got is a couple one eighth plate here I'm going to tack this together she's yeah sure she's allowed she's a good dog ha <laughs> she's a good dog I'll just tack that together cut that out wow uh, welder right there didn't really get set up this morning did we baby huh I get to work here, man. What's going on? Start to speed up here a little bit. Forgot what I was doing. I was in relax mode. How many minutes? Oh, we're just started then. What's that, sweetheart? They can't hear you. Can they? Hmm. The ground. It's 
crazy. I'm kind of lost on this part. Just because, I'm not lost on what I'm doing with trying to get that fabricated, but I'm lost on the cow part, what, where I'm going with that, what I'm going to do with that. That's the only part, what I'm lost with. I'm leaving a gap in the metal just for penetration. Just the gaps for penetration. I don't know. They both got the cover off. Let's get a shape to it. So I'm just going to put that on there and trace it. I'm losing. I'm lost a little bit there. Hmm. We'll do it anyways. Do it anyways. I'm gonna get another one. Miles will make another one. Generally, you'd have a piece of 1 8 plate that was big enough to do the job, but I did not have it, so this is what I'm doing to make sure I get it done. Exactly. Right? That's what I'm doing. Got to hit the piece that the ground's on, I guess. Yes, we got quite a chop on her. It'll be very recognizable, just like the Hot Wheels is. Very recognizable. Like you would never, uh, when you see the car, you're going to say, wow, what's that? Just guarantee it. Guarantee it. Don't you, baby? Guarantee it. Just like your car. You've, if, you, if you pulled up against somebody in 1932 with a car that looked like that, they say, wow, where'd you come from? Or that's what I would say, where'd you come from? Where is that place? I want to see it. All right, basically that's what's going on there. Just looking for my cap. I knew I had a cap for one of these. Now I'm just going to cut them out with the plasma cutter. in the garage working on the hot rod you know you know not, not a lot a whole bunch of people around on Sunday everybody's trying to recoup generally <laughs> right you know everybody's trying to recoup if you can get up Sunday and get a little bit done it's a little bit done that you probably wouldn't have I'm gonna cut this off the best I can and turn her on yeah so as as 
I'm noticing, and you'll notice as I get building this, putting this together, every piece, <laughs> if I threw a piece away, I'd be looking for it. Like I'm going to need a piece on top of that door, on top of the door and the quarter pan. I'm going to need a piece up by the roof where it comes through. All that body, body molding or body lines, I'm going to need a piece of. Bless you, sweetheart. Jolene looks fantastic today and is treating me better than gold. God love her. I do. I need a ground, like always. I rang it over, I just didn't put it on. That's not better. This can come off at any time. This is something that I'm, I drew at a piece of paper to try to make it uh, look the way I want it to look. And uh, if it's wrong, it can come back off. Just like the chop. <laughs> Get. That hammer was making me mad. Tell him come off. Anyways, any, anything can be removed or replaced. That's quite a harsh chop there. Like I said, it reminded me of Gene Winfield's uh, tea, the one he raises on the salt flats, the thing or whatever. That's what it reminded me of. I had to... I'm going to weld that there. And, and, and because, I'm, because I'm going to weld that there, all it... I'm going to weld that there. That was for the other side. No. Why is that? Uh, it goes on that way. Don't matter. want to put it on where I want to put it on if you know what I'm trying to say I'm just kind of sizing her up gotta bring it down some bring it down some I'm out past that line a bit it's quite thick there I would like to make that a, a peak there metal underneath there I'm not sure yet just don't know. I'm going to take the grinder and the flapper wheel, smooth this up a little bit though, just smooth the edges of it a little bit. It's hard to, what can I say, um, as, I'm, as I'm building this right in front of your very eyes, <laughs> I haven't made a plan or I haven't done anything. I'm fabricating and um, doing it on the fly so you, everything don't go tickety-boo sometimes. <laughs> I can tack it on there and put it on there. This is this is the only thing I don't like, as I have the door sitting there like this, and I got that end bird off <laughs> and sand it off. As I have that sitting there, and I put this on top of there like that, then then my bot then my my door is not flush anymore, if you know what I'm trying to say. So if I bring it up just a bit. I'm going to bring it up a bit. See if I can. Damn it. It's not playing nice. 
whatever it's doing. I'm going for it right there. I'm going to knock it and plug it on. I'm just going to tack it on because it's going to do its job right now is to hold the, the window in place. Now I think that myself, I say that this side's got to come down just a little tiny bit. I'm going to weld this piece to the roof. I'm going to weld it to this, to the post first. And then I'll bring it down by looking and seeing how much. And I'll come back and check on it, check on it, check on it. And that's what I'll do. Wind it right there. It's always the way, isn't it? Yep. Always the way. Huh. That ground right there. The quarter panel right back there, but. There, right there. Oh, that'll work. And I can cut this and move this in any way I want to. And now at least I can tack my roof to it. Let's pull that out a little bit. Now it's just mostly just eyeing it up. See, I could just put a piece of sheet metal on that. I'll do that and hold it in place. If I take it off, I take it off. What good use we here? What do you think? I'm asking Jolene to take a look at it. What she think? Look, you're just looking at the window and see if it's square going across the back. Looks pretty good, does it not? Yeah. That just made that go down, didn't it? Tell me when it looks good. I'm going to ask Jolene when it looks good. I'm going to weld it. Look good? There, it's welded in place. Not doing anything there yet. I don't know what I'm doing there yet. I might... Damn it. Oh, we got her going. I don't, I'm not necessarily going with that, but it is holding the roof in place. So I'm going to stick another tack of weld on it. Stick another tack of weld on it. don't know what I want to do there and that's just keep it in place and then I can put this on what the hay I'll cut the other one out put that one on just didn't know what I'm doing there yet don't know what I'm doing that's okay isn't it if I don't know what I'm doing there I think it's okay see another part two I could take see I've I got this now here like I just got it tacked on there just whatever now what I see are going on I could probably make a cut I can make a cut and slide this inside and weld the, the face of it on top of that, if you know what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'll try it on the other one, see what happens. I'm not sure. It's kind of... <laughs> he just welded a shark on the side of the car. I don't like that. You know what I mean? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about that. It is what it is.
I really don't know why I'm putting them on just to hold it, I guess, and get a visual, I guess, doing a visual thing again. A visual. I need that ground. Clean this up a little bit. Uh -oh. Hammer. You can see on the little car what I got, what's going on there, in the top, the widow's peak, in the in the paint. I know what's in the paint, but we have a chance to. Do it in, make it out of body lines itself. Don't know what goes on there, but there it is. And that's what I'm going for. Is that there? Uh, pieces right here. that on the wrong side makes it you can see how I left a gap in that and it still didn't penetrate all the way down through so you have to be very careful on that stuff very careful in my opinion I'm just putting it in a spot, closing my eyes, and welding it. It's basically all I'm doing, it's just so it sticks over there. Stick this side on. Still got to do some cutting, I see. Plasma cutter's right there. That's where the plasma cutter came in. Good there, lived T. Uh, it was just a basic, basic cut, but um, it was easier than trying to get a grinder in there, that's for sure. I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm just gonna flatten that off a little bit. Better out than in, boys, better out than in. on that Pantina. Now, yeah, doing the exact same thing is, I'm just gonna go to the other side and just take a looky poo for a second and see how far we're up. Look back and see if the window's okay. I'm going to look back and see if that's okay still again. I'm happy with that. It looks fine. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buster that on right there. It looks good. 
And what we're doing with these things, like I said, is a visual. It's not like it's going to stay or it has to stay or anything. But the old car that we're, the car that we're going off, it does have widow peaks there. And it would be nice to be able to emulate what's going on, even though it might not be the same. But imitate um, is a sign of flattery, is it not? Um, we're flattered about the car. It's kind of an amazing looking thing. And um, for us to try to make something look like it is, yeah, it's cool. Um, it goes to show that um, the art of the Bugatti car will last at the end of time, probably, no doubt in my mind. I enjoy the, the, the risks they were taking. They were taking risks making cars that look like that. <laughs> really though, they were taking risks. And I'll tell you why they were taking risks. Because no one else was making cars that look like that. All right? No one else was. That's why I feel like they were taking risks. All right. Just a tacky poo, sweetheart. Hitting in the exact same spot, too, on the post. That's good. Well, that, would you? I'm just going to come back and take a look and see if... Fantastic. 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 All this stuff, this stuff is just sheet metal here. That's just sheet metal. That can be up, down, turned around. That's just sheet metal. that far up about that far we're about in the same same place yeah you can turn that off actually yeah we'll have to see what that turns into I, I'm not sure what, what what I'm planning on doing there Look and see if there's the same. This one can come down probably a little bit. No. Nope. Looks good in the back. And that's all that matters. Alrighty. Them, them most likely will come off. I got to have the window straight before I put this other piece in. Just for my, for me, um, what has happened here? That's holding that on. I welded this together. Obviously, had to to get something going here. Uh, and now I'm going to cut the drip rail molding off of this and try to fit the top of the door in. Fit the top of the door in. What do you think, baby? Zip cut. I'll use this over here. Stacy got his truck going, obviously, did he? No problem at all. It's good. It's good. All right, I'm just going to cut this edge off. I, I just noticed it yesterday. Like this edge here, this, all, this, all this has to come off. And what has to happen is it has to be cut. And to, and to get that out of there, that has to be shrunken. So what has to happen is a piece has to be cut out of it, and then it has to be dollied back together. Maybe just a little bit further, maybe. 
Up, 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 uh, not too much further, but a little bit. I've got to take. I've got to take this door apart. This is quite something else. Take this door apart. Whew. I just cut it off straight over here. Use this piece matches up to there. We'll have to cut that and angle that. But I got to get the wood out of it. They were sophisticated with the wood on that bad boy, huh? They sophisticated with that. Visor for you, sweetheart. You want a visor for your car? And some wood for the fire? Hope I cut that long enough. Yeah, we shouldn't be too bad. There's no much turn there. Shouldn't be too bad. So this is a piece of the top of the door, and I'm able to take two inches out of the, I'm gonna put, take, and put it up inside the front where it was before, and I'm gonna gain two inches on the back side because of this piece. Now I'm gonna to have to fist fight with this thing here for a minute, hold it down and wrestle with it. There's a couple screws in here that I had a hard time with. Uh, the wood's not, generally not too bad. they got a couple of tabs, and I'm just cutting the tabs off. Now, if I remember right, I had to cut these others. And you got it nailed all up in there. You wasn't running away with the wood very quick out of this thing, that's for sure. You were going through the process. wrestling job with this last night. Uh, da, 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 da. He's got to be cut off. Aha! This one that might not go so bad. Cutting out some wood.
just smoke it. I gotta get a grinder disc. Just gotta get that wood out, you know, it takes time. Got my groove going now, baby. Now I'm chugging along anyway. I'm chugging along was pretty slow at first. See, relaxing Sunday morning, getting up. Jolene in bed this morning was great. You know what I mean? She made me a coffee. We got to chat a little bit. Then, well, it's time to go make a video. Huh? For all our for all our people. For all our people. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody for watching. We'll just keep on cutting, keep on grinding if you keep on coming back. Come on, man, I want the metal out of this thing. Screwdriver should be, put it back. Phew, smoky in here. This is what I gotta do, though, to get the wood out. This is what I gotta do. Yeah. Be nice if it was just rotten and fall out, wouldn't it? But it's not. I think maybe get that all pried up along here. That's a helper. Come on out. Come on out, man. Put it down here and see if it works better. First time ever going to a toolbox and grab something that quick, I can tell you that. Huh? What's that still hooked on to? All the metal's cut. It's just in there good, that's all. screw head underneath that let's hold that wood in there which makes it complicated for me come on out come on out talk nice to you don't want to bend it uh, bent. yay she says you Screws doing their job, aren't they? The two screws there doing their job, holding on. Come on, yeah, yeah. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Just keep digging at it. We'll get her.
Most people want new wood for the shivs, and I want it out. Can you see me over here, sweetheart? I'm over here. Not bad. Feels pretty good. I didn't bend that one up too, too bad. Just going to put it on the floor here. See what's going on there. All that metal is bent over top of that top construction. And I'm going to leave it and keep it because it's metal. I might get in there and I might need it. I might need it. I'm going to take the little squirrely jig off there. So wood be gone. Hello there. Wood be gone. So this is what we're doing. We're going to the other side. And we're going to try to inject this piece. Now I'm going to go take a look at the other side because that's basically my pattern. Like Jolene said, how do you get it like the other side? Well, what I'll do is I'll cut it like the other side. The other side's got, got it cut um, right on that point where I cut it off. So we'll just cut a little bit beyond that and we'll start there and I'll know. And that point was right there is where I cut it up straight. I know that it's on an angle, so I'm going to leave myself a little bit so I can cut an angle. See the angle I got going on here when I put that in there? I want to put that right up to there. See, now I got an angle. I got to cut on that, and that's why I left a little bit. Bring that down. I'm gonna bring that down. Get down off that. A little ledge there holding on. I've got to cut that off. I see. Ah, I wonder what'd be easier. Plasma cutter's on. Yeah. What did you do? She said. You cut it. Crazily, it goes on there. See that get that gives me the two inches there. Now what I got to do is cut this piece off here and get that up in there. Yeah. So we'll just go slowly and get a marker. There's the one I want right there. Basically what I want. Left a little bit long. This mark here is going to go against that, so I left that along so I can trim that. And right at the present moment, I'm going to try to cut this and so I can get this up in there higher. Cut it to length, too, actually. I'm going to cut it a little long. Also, I've got to cut some of this out. Off. I cut it off just a little bit long. Just a little, just a little bit. Woo! This piece that I wanted to do. I'm just wondering if I want the. Oh, it's fine. It's great. I'm gonna cut a little more on top of this. Ground's working good on the table.
you can see some poopy well there going on the corner. I had a little bit of a gap when I put that piece in there, and I just coat hangered it full. The grinder will flush it off. There's no big deal going on there. No big deal. Alrighty. Got to come up a little bit further. We're going right there. Gonna come up a little bit further. Marker. I throw it away. Just a little bit at a time is uh, is on this one. Just a little bit at a time. I start getting carried away and cutting too much metal out of it. I'll be in trouble in no time. In no time. We're going to try that first. Pretty near there. All right. It's going to take a little bit more off. A little bit more off. Close. It's close. Want to straighten that out a bit? back here first and Whew. gotta go take a looky go take a looky the end went right on the the point went right on that so I'm gonna have to it's gonna be close it's gonna be close it's gonna be close I might have cut too much I'm not sure so you can see is I'm, I'm taking this up the same distance in the front but I'm gaining two inches in the back So, to me to get that in there, see that line there? I'm going to go straight with that one. I want this point right here, but I'm going to plumb it up with this line. <laughs> no sorries from you, sweetheart. We love you. So I'm going to put that there like that, and I hope it don't bring it back too shy there. Let's let's do this.
I think I should clean it up a little bit more just because I want it to penetrate and I don't want to keep building weld up there. I've got quite a bit of weld build up there. And any place that's low, I like jam the weld right to it with the coat hanger. Why not? I can grind it off. Step that on there, and then we'll start welding it. Just tack it on. Ouch. Got my hair, sweetest. Got my hair. Shouldn't laugh with that, should I? Eh? Step on that and that thing will cut you. Just going to eye it up right here. Make it fit good there. Ooh, that fits really nice. Just kind of trying to eye that line up together, right? Trying to, what I'll do is I'll take a piece from the door. I already told you. Oh, that's dropping as I, as I do it. Basically what I want. got to go down. What happens here now, I've, I've, what I've done here is I've taken the clamp, now I clamp that, clamp that all the way along there. I still got to go in here and cut this, cut this out, dolly that together. How much time you got, sweetheart? 116? Show more or less what I got going on here. I butt welded the other one on the other side. I did. And I might do the same on this one. Ha! Ah, that's why it's not going all the way over. Now it will. homie still there so what I got to do now now I can come along here and run my zip cut in along there let that metal come out do you want me to go on continue on or well I'm going to continue on probably no matter all right
and one more. Just keep zipping it there until I get it fitting. Good. This one is a dangerous one. What? Alrighty, let's do the giveaway, I guess. So you can see how long it takes to put that piece in and try to muster up something here. I have no idea what I'm doing here whatsoever. No idea. I just stuck that on there because I wanted a visual. But that's what I had to do to the roof on the other side to make it look the way it did. I kept it there the same and I added two inches there by putting that back down in there. Now I'm going to have to weld, bring that down, weld that all the way along there. Try to make that as straight as possible. I'm going to cut that down a little bit, come in there a little bit more and we'll get rid of this drip rail molding. And the way we'll get rid of it is we'll cut it take some metal out of it, hand, put a dolly behind it, and tap it all together because there's quite a ridge there. If you go on the other side, you can see on the other side there's no ridge at all. But let's get do the giveaway. I want to thank everybody. Stacy's still getting his truck. Cool. So here we go. Sorry, sorry for the slow start this morning. It's Sunday. Um, that's no excuse. Just a slow start. I spent some time out here last night trying to fix that chop that I <laughs> damn near messed up, I guess. Damn near. And I was thinking on the way to town, I probably should have laid the window down before I chopped the roof. Uh, I was just trying to see how good I was. What a baby. Just trying to see how good I was. I'm thinking as the, as the YouTube page grows, uh, people like m more fabrication than anything. That's what we're thinking. Like That's what we're learning. People like the fabrication part. Uh, we'll probably get this one stuck together. You know, just get the body stuck together, get the doors on it, get the windshield, and get the roof in it, um, get it looking somewhat, get the fenders tacked on it probably. But I have John's gas pump to paint or air station to paint yet. And I have Jim's car to do, and I think Jim's car is going to be a good, a good, uh, good couple videos because of the floor fabrication we're going to do on that, and that'll just show anybody that they can do theirs. Well, how many? How many? Nine hundred and fifty-two comments. Wow! Thanks, everybody. Keep them coming. Anthony Bart 
Anthony Burt used to which? What is there any question there? Will it be painted to match the Hot Wheels car? I think Pearl White would look exquisite. That's something I, I don't know. I that's the answer. I'd, that's like the Y in the alphabet. It cannot be answered or straightened. I don't know yet. But I really do like the Hot Wheels the way they've painted it. Um, and I yes, I don't know. Sorry. But you have won a hat and thanks for your comment and your time. Thank you very much. Tell your friends that we build cars on here like you've never seen before and we're willing to show you the mistakes, the ups, the downs, the all-arounds, and the real truth. Thanks, everybody.